Hey guys, today we are on Lucky Street in Beijing, and what we are about to have for lunch is a frog pot at a crayfish restaurant. Let's go! It's Sunday just before lunchtime, so we're really lucky because there's not a lot of people here yet. We got this place all to ourselves. So this is a really typical Chinese appetizer. And what they basically do is take cucumbers or other types of vegetables and douse it with some vinegar, soy sauce, salt, and sugar. So this dish is just a little bit salty, a little bit sour, a little bit sweet, a little bit spicy. And it's just a really great combination of flavors to open up that stomach for the main course that's coming soon. So I'm really excited about this one. So this is shrimp roe tofu. Okay, so a lot of you might have had crab roe tofu, but this is made with shrimp. So there are a lot of really great ingredients in here. Tofu, obviously, but you also have um, bits of shrimp roe, which is actually really hard to come by. Uh, there are peas and bits of um, crab meat and shrimp meat. Oh, it just smells so good. Mmm. It's so delicious. It's got like this nice little savory flavor um, and this really wonderful hint of the shrimp flavor. It's fantastic. Okay, so this is our beverage of the day. It's um, grapefruit tea, but there's actually no tea in it. Uh, it's made with the combination of the rind of the grapefruit plus uh, the flesh of the grapefruit. And it's really delicious, but it's not technically typically Chinese. Um, it's actually something that's enjoyed across Asia, especially in Japan and Korea. And it's usually served warm and hot and has this very nice uh, soothing, tangy, uh, sweet taste to it. Wow, look at this. It's so big, much, much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. So um, this is our bronze, dual layered frog and shrimp hot pot. And as you'll see, this is uh, completely made of bronze. Yeah, the center is actually hollow. And the way this works is uh, there's a fire that burns on the bottom that keeps this entire thing piping hot throughout your entire meal. And the heat will rise uh, through the center and warm the meal as you continue to eat it. And so the top layer, as I can see, is made of, I think it's mostly shrimp um, and lots of really delicious spices like peppers, right, and garlic. Mmm, I just can't wait. And then on the bottom, the second layer is all frog. Looks nice. Not something you typically eat, I bet, but it's here and we will show you what it's like. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna have this piece of frog. And I have to say, I didn't used to be a big fan of frogs, but recently um, my wife has turned me on it and you know, here we go. Mmm, so delicious. You'll never even know that it's frog. I love it. Is it like chicken? Kind of. Uh, it's a lot softer um, and in some cases chewier than chicken, but um, yeah, like if you don't think that it's a frog um, and just put it in your mouth, you will have a really great time. So one of the first reactions that a lot of people will have is like, oh, look at all the peppers. So green and so red, it looks so hot. Well, one of the magic things about Chinese cooking is despite the fact that there are a lot of peppers, um, it looks like it's gonna set your mouth on fire. Um, the spiciness level is probably only about a 3 out of 10, I would say. So just stay away from eating the peppers directly and you'll be safe. Besides just the shrimp and the frog that's in this pot, there's also a lot of other really yummy ingredients. So like we have uh, shrimp tofu, um, there is some delicious celery. There's a great piece of cauliflower. Mm. So here we have a dish of really spicy clams. And these are actually pretty spicy. These clams, um, or to some of you guys, you might know them as peepees. Um, in my hometown of Qingda, and a lot of places in the West, we usually like steam the clams um, or just have a very light sort of flavor. But here they really douse on the hot sauce and the peppers. Um, and the flavor is absolutely incredible. Even though it's a little hot, but I love it. So after this really, really spicy frog hot pot, we're delighted to be treated to a really awesome dessert. So this is something that a lot of you probably haven't seen or had before. But what you see here is this kind of jelly or jello-like substance. And it's clear, but it's made out of ground papaya seeds. 
And what they like to do here in China in the summer, especially after a hot and spicy meal, is that you put some raisins and some uh, sesame seeds and douse it with brown sugar syrup. Mmm. It just feels like your mouth is wrapped in this blanket of cool, icy splendor. I love it. When you finish eating a lot of the stuff that already comes inside the pot, at a certain point, you're gonna start getting some of this empty space. And what a lot of people do is they take some vegetables like cabbage or lettuce or whatever, and then they would basically cook it uh, inside the really delicious spicy juices. Oh, it's just so great. What they were kind enough to do is give me another plate of these. So those of you who've ever been to a Japanese restaurant or to Japan, you know these as mochi cakes. Here in China, we call them dafu. So uh, the dafu is essentially this uh, sticky rice sort of skin uh, on the outside and this really tasty cream uh, on the inside. And depending on the color, you get either matcha flavor or green tea flavor, or you get chocolate. So um, on the outside, I think they sprinkled it with some matcha flavored uh, coconut uh, shavings and it just looks so good, right? Mmm. So on the inside, you can see that there is this really, really rich cream. It just really accentuates the flavor of the um, sticky rice skin and it's just so delicious. Chewy and then completely fills your entire mouth with this awesome flavor. Really, really recommend it. So today we had all of this really great food and guess how much all of this was? Well, I can tell you that the retail price of all of this is over 440 RMB, 445, right? But when we go online and get a coupon, um, we get this entire meal for only 159, which is over 60% off. Isn't that a great deal? And another thing we really love about buying coupons is that this entire meal is a three-person set meal, which means that after you sit down, all you have to do is show them the QR code and then your food starts to come. You don't even need to spend all that time looking through the menu and discussing. It's all set for you, including the beverages and the appetizers and the dessert. So you don't really need to think too hard. So this is especially great after a really long days of work. When you're completely exhausted. You just want to sit down and have some frogs. This is the way. So if you want to experience a great deal on a frog hot pot, we invite you to try it out.